Okay, so this is the uh, Learning Together Hub um, challenges area which I created using the community site template. Um, I figured that the, the badges and the, the ratings functionality was one that was worth exploring and I really liked the way the categories displayed. So um, I've got a number of craft categories here just to focus discussion on uh, curricular areas and curricular topics um, and I've just used the, the discussions uh, to create these learning challenges um, so we've got what happened to Malaysian Airlines MHC70 um, we've got a wee animated GIFs challenge um, so just click on that one, I'll show you how it displays um, I think it's quite nice, it's quite an easy way for people to create learning content uh, within the context of a kind of bigger site categorised into topic areas so just displays the topic you can embed content as a wee animated gif um, I've embedded some uh, video content for starters and then uh, a video explanation of how to make a, an animated gif and it just if a person was to reply it just allows them obviously to click in the reply and then add their responses so they could share the video um, or images and you know various links and stuff embedded stuff even uh, they've done it once they've done it so um, I really like the kind of gamification features of it um, I just go back home so you know I really like the fact that you can learn uh, through these challenges and then be given you know award points uh, for the extent to which you've taken part in discussions really quite like that like the fact you can earn badges, we all know about gamification and what it can do. So I think this is worth exploring. This has not been kind of approved by my team yet, um, but I just thought it was a nice way to use the functionality uh, that's out the box in the three six five, and try and you know leverage that for learning. So that's just one idea. Um, I've also been working on a couple of other sort of sites. Uh, here's one here in Romans. Again, it's got this learning together branding uh, because I thought it was good. It would be good to focus the whole idea of learning on this notion of collaborative working together. So the challenges and these individual sites that are based on topics uh, would come together under the learning together umbrella. Um, and I need to create some kind of homepage for users to access all this content from might do that in a public facing blog just so that entices people in uh, you know without relying on the password to show them what what's there um so yeah this is just a simple site it's a community site um i felt that the the, sh the 365 sharepoint functionality is a bit texty so i've added quite you know see i've added some images just you know to, to sort of highlight the web parts I suppose and show what what's underneath so without any content in there yet I thought it was quite a nice way to to show the, the sharing the achievement section and the art gallery um, again it's a community site this time using the news feed and the hashtag Romans so it's just a way of focusing people's attention on the hashtag I suppose whilst giving them a context for learning so that was my main kind of uh, mission with that. It takes each page takes you to an embedded PowerPoint. Uh, this one's about the Roman army, um, and it's got useful web links. So nothing too complicated about what the kind of content is. It's taking a wee while to load up, um, but but yeah, uh, it's, it's dead simple. I just um, just kept the links and and, and embeds relevant to whatever the context is and try to use some of the content and learn it that Education Scotland already had. Um, this one here, HMD Journeys, is a kind of bigger site that I did as soon as I kind of started um, back in January. Um, again, we use this just to take um, survivor journeys, so it's Holocaust and genocide survivor stories. Uh, so if I click on Eva Schloss, you see it just takes you to a page with a short biography, um, some web links to Eva Schloss stuff, and then some 
embedded YouTube content. Um, we've got one of the things I like about this site, and this is, is something we're exploring, is the tasks web part. So the task web part here um, links, of course, to individual tasks. So if someone was to undertake this task, then they'd see it appearing in their task list on the main profile page. So I like that. It's worth exploring further, I think. Um, I don't know, I think the, the, the main attraction is just being able to sort of take the core functionality and um, try and think of a, a, a beneficial way to use that for learning. And uh, yeah, that's this is a nice wee one um, in terms of the way Curriculum for Excellence assessment programme um, places a high importance on establishing existing knowledge and learners' questions. So that was just a way, I mean, no one's uh, filled it in, but it's just a, another little list. Um, oh, I've got a couple of replies. Um, what should be useful for a teacher is to see what people already know about a topic before, I suppose, planning for, for learning around that topic. Um, and then there's, there's a feed of questions. Um, we've got a couple. Um, or one <laughs> question there. Um, so yeah, that's the Journeys site, Holocaust Memorial Day Journeys. Um, I really like the promoted links web part. I think that's one of the nicest um, functions of SharePoint 365, the nicest apps. Um, and yeah, not much more to say about that. Um, Romans already spoken about. Um, again, quite simple, just a, a news feed with a hashtag, a sharing achievement gallery, and then a picture gallery used for sharing wall displays. Um, primary classrooms seem to do a lot of kind of wall display work and creative stuff when they're studying a topic, so it's just a way of them sharing that. Um, and we've got a couple of embedded videos there. Um, another site we've been working on is the Sciences Curricular Team. Education Scotland has a curricular team for each curricular area and the Sciences team were keen to start using 365 to share developments in a new qualification that's coming out. So they wanted folders, I was kind of, I dread that folders were not perhaps a sensible approach to sharing these days, especially with the search functionality, but yeah, lots of people sharing and discussing, and there's not much to that site, again, it's just sort of being able to think of the functionality of 365 and apply it to, to their needs, so it's got a nice wee calendar that pops up, I like the pop-up feature, um, and again, a kind of hashtags list, so they've got a number of hashtags that you're using in the social uh, newsfeed and um, I think that looks great as well so so yeah it's just some of the work I've been doing and I'll send you some screenshots as well but I thought it was better just to do a wee video um, I think this is my favourite site just now the Learning Together Hub